horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Western United States, the stage trails were rough and poorly marked. On every trip, the driver and passengers faced the danger of attack by road agents and hostile Indians. And it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for law and order that travel became safe in the new territory. The Lone Ranger's strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, made him the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're on the trail of outlaws. Tunnel's waiting for us. I am Silver. Away! <laughs> While the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode across the plains, the sound of distant gunfire reached their ears. It's that way, Tonto. Any long way. Near the stage trail. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. There's a stage to about now. That right. That country through here, too. All that shooting means trouble. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Further ahead on the trail, the westbound stage had been halted by a gang of outlaws. They'd expected to take the stage by surprise and steal the payroll cash on its way to the nearby Circle D ranch. But the driver and the guard had spotted the thieves and put up a valiant battle until both lay slumped across the top of the stage, victims of the outlaws' bullets. Inside the stage, one passenger, an old man, had hastily erected a barricade and it was his fire that caused the outlaws to call a halt to their plan. Norton, just been hit, he's down. It's the old guy. You can't get him, he's barricaded inside the stage. Come on, you yeller stage robbing snakes. Come on and get me. See, we can't stay here. Oh, you swing me. Light out, we'll come back later. Get going, get, get up, up there. there. Come on, get, get up, up, get up there. Uh, dirty pole catch. There's one to remember me by. <laughs> I'll get out and see how bad hurt my boy is. You dirty crooks. Started shooting out, giving the boys on top a chance to fight back. Uh, help me. You shot me. Help me. Call on your yellow pals that ran off from one man. Maybe they'll help you. I got a guard and driver to see, too. I'm coming, son. Be with you in a second. There, now. Hey, hit you bad? Well, speak to me, boy. Speak to your paw. Oh, don't leave me, Jimmy. Jimmy, what have they done to you? How can we help most? You, another thief and crook, I'll show you. Hold on, don't fire. Don't tell me not to fire. My boy was driving this stage, his first trip, and your ornery pals shot him before they give him a chance. Well, for that, I'm drilling you. Dad ratted my gun's empty. Then put it down and listen to me. 
We aren't thieves. We heard the shooting. Masked, though. Are the garden drivers still alive? No, they ain't. Help me. That polecat is, oh, he's one of the outlaws. His two pards done a run out on him. Take a look at him, Toto. Uh, Toto, look. Who were the thieves? Don't know who they was. All three wore masks. All I know is that I dropped that one and winged another. You were inside the stage? I was. And I was behind them boxes where they couldn't get me. They'd stuck around and I'd dropped the rest of them. Oh, if only I could ride, I'd get after them right now. My legs ain't so good no more. Can't set a saddle. Yes, the coyotes ain't drill my boy. Outlaw fella there, not die. Him get well. Tonto got wound fixed. We're going after the thieves. Mister, you stay here. But I... Stay here and keep a gun on that wounded man until we get back. Don't shoot him, though. Why not? If he's dead, he'll never be able to tell who was with him. We'll be back. Let's go, Tonto. Get him up, scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> With their start and riding at breakneck speed, the elf laws had managed to reach town. On the outskirts of the village, they slowed their horses to a walk and casually rode down the main street. They dismounted in front of a small store and went inside. There was no trace of them when a few minutes later the Lone Ranger and Tonto came to the end of their trail, a trail lost among the countless hoof marks. They got into town and lost themselves among the rest of the people here. Mm, that's right. We don't even know what their horses look like. Couldn't even find tracks of them on the trail. Uh. We shouldn't have been so quick to follow them, Tonto. That old man on the stage might have been able to tell us more about the thieves. Maybe we'd go back, huh? Yes, we'll go back and ask him. Then we'll know something about the men we're hunting. Uh. One thing I am sure of. Mm, what that? Those thieves are here in town. Come on, Tonto. Stage, just where it was left. But where wounded fella gone? He isn't there. Where old man? Hello there. Where are you? Him not here either. Hello. Hello. Him gone. Leave dead fella on stage. Where could he have gone? Otto, how badly was that outlaw hurt? Him not hurt bad. Could he have gotten away and taken the old man with him? Maybe other outlaw come back and get him. But if they'd done that, we'd have seen them. Mm, that's right. I wonder if that old man has made off with the outlaw. I wonder if he's going after that gang alone. So that's it, eh? The old glute aims to get rich by the shooting. That's what he's doing, Norton. I had a tough time getting here to the shack. You must have had. It was tough for me with a slug in my arm. Jeffries, you listen to me. You wouldn't be scheming a double cross, would you? Me? No, of course not, Norton. How could I? See the old man leave the stage, then you take the cash? No. You search me, Norton. I didn't have no cash. You might have hid it somewhere. Well, but I didn't. You tell just what happened after we hightailed from the trail. And I told you about the mass man and the redskin that come along. Yeah? They went after you. Go on. They couldn't have got us. Me and Steve got to town and sauntered in real casual-like. Then we stopped at my place and I plugged Steve's wound. Then we come back here to the hideout. Well, after the masked man and the redskin left, the old man come and looked at me. He studied the bullet wound for some time, and then... So the redskin figured you wouldn't die, eh? Well, that shows what he knows about it. You're done for, you crook. I'd felt some better up to then. When he says that, well, I didn't know. Get on, Jeffries. Then what happened? Well, he went to the box on the stage, the one that had the cash in it, you see. Yeah? He took the folded money and stuck it under his shirt. Then he turned at me and laughed. <laughs> Killed my garden driver trying to get me, eh? Huh? Well, your pal's done me a great big favor. They'll be charged with the steal in this cash. And me? Well, I'll be rich for the rest of my life. <laughs> and that's that. Well, that scheming old crook. So he made off of the cash. Just like I told you, Norton. Oh, that wound sure hurts a plenty. The old man was right, Jeffries. It will take you away. No, Norton, it won't. I'm plenty stronger than I was. You're no good to us crippled like that. 
We can't be bothered taking care of you. Or splitting with you when we get the old man's cage. Boys, you wouldn't... Who wouldn't? No, no. Wait, listen. It's going to be a two-way split. No! A two-way split. I'm trying to find out where a man named Higgins lives. Where are you? In fact, who are you? A friend of his. Where are you? What are you doing around here with that mask on? We've come a long way to find Higgins. Sheriff, aren't you hunting for the people who robbed the stage last week? I am. Didn't Higgins know anything about the robbery? He was killed outright. Found him in the driver's seat. You're talking about the driver of the stage. I mean the old man, the driver's father. Heard he knew anything about the robbery. He wasn't on the stage then? If he was, it's news to me. I see. Does he still live over there? Uh, you're pointing the wrong way. He lives where he always did. Way out in Lonesome Ranch near the fork in the river. Oh? You sure you're thinking of the same man? I'm sure now. Well, now it's your turn to talk. I'm waiting to hear an explanation about that mask. Oh, the mask. Well, Sheriff, I'll tell you all about that when I get back. Come on, Silver. Hey, hold on there. Uh, dead Fred at all. Just read off and ignored my shooting iron. Who is that hombre? Ignoring the sheriff's shouted command and his gun, the Lone Ranger circled the town to conceal his trail, and a short time later reined up at Lonesome Ranch near the fork in the river. Dismounting, he entered the door of the ranch house without stopping to knock. Higgins was surprised to see the masked man again. You with the mask. Now look here. We had a hard time I... finding you, Higgins. We didn't even know who you were. Well, what do you want here? You didn't wait for us. I wanted to get the crooks that killed my son. That's why I done it. The sheriff didn't even know there was a passenger on the stage. Well, I, I didn't tell him I was on it. I even picked up all the cartridges I fired so he wouldn't find a trace of me. But why? I let the surviving outlaw know I was taking the cash. I figured he might tell his pals and they'd come and get me. And I'd have the chance to shoot it out with him again. Higgins, we found where the outlaws met. Where they shot and killed the men you let escape. Uh, snakes. We might have been able to make the wounded man name his friends. He wouldn't have done it. I know the breed. He'd have died first. Have you got the money here? But how'd you know? Money not found. I don't make you two out. You sure talk like a man could trust you. You can trust us, Higgins. But you'll think differently for a while. Huh? You shot it out for the outlaws once. But that doesn't mean you'd be as lucky another time. Why not? In the first place, you might not have the barricade that saved you before. Well, I... In the could... second place, you don't know who they are. They might come here unmasked and turn out to be men you know well. Then get you off guard. Mm. They are men who live in town. Well, I'll take my chances. I'm holding the cash for bait, Savvy. I'll be here when them crooks come and I'll be ready for them. I've got a right to meet them. They... They killed my boy. I'm sorry, Higgins. But if you stay here, you might be killed. That's the chance I'll take. I don't think Tonto and I are going to let you take that chance. What's that? If you lose, the crooks will go unpunished. It's not only your life, you see. Oh, uh, you see here, stranger. You're covered, Higgins. What? Take it easy. Dead red it's your outlaws after all. You're going with us, Higgins. Get a rope on him, Tonto. Uh, you all fired no good. No good to fight. Uh, you better rope me tight. Better gag me or I'll eat the dog go on rope away. I'll get you for this. The whole state won't be big enough for you to hide in. I'll get you. You just wait and see. Take it easy, Higgins. You'll find out later that we're on your side. Open the door, Tonto. You wait. That's all I can say. You just wait. Out you go, Higgins. We'll leave a lamp here lighted. Tonto, leave the door open. Uh-huh. Time to do it. You're lucky the outlaws decided to wait a while before they came hunting for you. I ain't so sure they ain't come hunting me. I ain't sure you ain't them. All right. Hey, what are you taking there? Leave my things be. We'll need these things. Where are you taking me? We're heading for the deep part of the river. Drown me, eh? You'll never... No, Higgins. We're doing the only thing I can think of that will catch the outlaws and keep you alive. Get on horse now. I am hand if you will. You get him up, Tonto. He can ride with me. Blast you to tarnation, let me be. I'll get by my own self. I ain't a baby that's to be picked up off the ground. Very well, Higgins. You'll find out. You wait and see. Just tell me what you're going to do with me, that's all. We're going to make everyone think that you're dead. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, 
please permit us to pause for just a few moments. our story. When the Lone Ranger learned of Higgins' plan to capture the outlaws, he took the old rancher prisoner and carried him away. On the following day, the sheriff's posse rode out to Higgins' ranch. Hey, poor old Higgins. It's a doggone shame we couldn't have got here sooner. If only we'd have come yesterday instead of today, we might have been able to save him. Uh, these hoof marks tell the story, Sheriff. Ain't no question about what's happened here. Look at the horse's hoofs and the man's footprints. Uh, Higgins was killed all right enough. Last night, too. Last night's right. These footprints ain't more than 12 hours old. But, Sheriff, uh, I noticed some odd things about him. Go on, Deputy. What do you notice? You always was a good man at reading signs. Well, back at the house, it looked like Higgins put up something of a struggle. Sure he did. Then he seemed to stop struggling. There ain't no struggling signs here. The uh, poor old fellow likely ran out of strength. Uh, he might have. There's a doubt in your voice, Deputy. Well, generally, a man falls to the ground when he gets too weak to keep fighting. And if he don't fall down, he staggers standing up. Sure he does. But Higgins' footprints here show that he was walking, and walking in a straight line at that. Yes. He don't show signs of staggering. You think he went along with a killer of his own accord? Uh, it looks that way. Of course, there's lots of things that might account for it. But it's a sure thing that he was killed. Well, we seen where he fought, didn't we? Yeah. Of course, we ain't found the body. I told you, Deputy. It had been weighed down with rocks and thrown into the river here. That's easy to see. You can see where the rocks was taken away. Waking away. Well, you're likely right, Sheriff. What I want from you, Deputy, is all you can tell about the murder. What do you judge from his footprints? Well, there was more than one man. There was two. But one was a redskin. You sure of that? Well, you can see where he wore moccasins. Yeah, maybe a white man wore moccasins. A man like us don't walk this way. This was a redskin. Now, I'll, I'll show you why I know. See how the weight is balanced even on the foot? We put more weight on the outside of our foot and point our toes out or straight ahead. An Indian walks with the toes pointing in. What about the other man? A big man, a tall one. A tall man and a redskin. By golly, I got a notion who they are. There was a tall man asked me questions, wore a mask. I was suspicious about him at the time. Uh -huh. Deputy, can you follow this trail? Well, I'll try. It ain't very old. That'll help. Let's get going, then. Boys, follow me and the deputy. I want that way to start. Get up there. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Working out slick as can be, Steve. How is that? The law's on the hunt for a redskin for the murder of the old man. Higgins? Yep, there's two the law wants. The Indian and the man that was with him. They must have been the two that Jeffries told us about. Yeah, they didn't get the cash from the stage when they was there. They have it again. What about that cash? All we got to do now is help ourselves. But we don't know where the cash is. Maybe them two got it. It's one of two things. They either got it from the old man or they didn't. If they got it, we'll have to try to find where they sold it away. I don't think they got it, though. I think it's still in Higgins' house. What makes you think that? Well, the tracks on the ground. They took Higgins away and probably forced him to tell where it was hid. But there wasn't any tracks showing where the two went back to the house. We'll have a look around the house anyway. Higgins must have had the gas there in the first place. Sure he did. I just hope it's still there. But ain't we'll never find it. I know. Norton. Yeah? How'd you find out so much about the tracks on the ground? I got ways of hearing things. Sheriff, Teddy? All a man has to do is hang around where the boys are talking and keep his ears open. How we get the chance to search that house? We'll sit tight and wait the chance. The law will be busy hunting down those two. When we're sure that everyone is somewhere else, we'll ride out to where Higgins lived and have a look-see. Till then, we stay right here in town? Sure, it's safe enough here. No one suspects us. Yeah, I hear something. Hey, come on, let's look outside. 
and it's a posse coming back. And they got a prisoner. An engine. The deputy tracked him down, boys. Hats off to Bob Lucky. Steve, let's not let him try the redskin. The sooner they hang him, the sooner the case is closed. What do you mean? It don't take much to start a lynch mob. Yeah, that's so. Come on, make plenty of noise. Spring the red skin up. Hang the trigger. That's the red Come on, boys. Straight him up. Stop that talk. Stop that lynch talk. He's got to have a trial. Trial well, be hanged. Gordon, keep still. He's killed old Higgins. Spring him up. Why wait for a trial? Boys, wait. you got to listen to me. Listen a minute. You've got to listen. Be quiet a minute. Quiet down. I'll meet you halfway. Now, let me speak. Why wait for a trial if he's the killer? Listen, boys. I'll make a deal. Let the sheriff speak. Go on, sheriff. Speak up. I know how you feel. we got to do things legal. We won't put off trying the redskin. We'll have the trial this afternoon. I promise you that. If he's found guilty, he'll swing at sunrise in the morning. Swing him now. Hold on, boys. Maybe the sheriff is right. We can wait till morning to punish the redskin, can't we? A few hours won't matter. All right then, boys. You leave him alone, and I'll give him my word he won't escape. Now go on, all of you. Get back to where you come from. Break up this crowd. Go to home, your homes. I'll get the trial arranged as soon as I can. All right, Sheriff. Sure, sure. The sheriff's right. No one's got a good head on it. As long as they don't put it off too long. Hey, redskin, I saved your neck. You'll likely hang anyhow, but at least you'll get a fair trial. Me not kill, feller. I wouldn't expect you to say anything else. Now, there's one chance the court might put you in jail for keeps instead of hanging you. Tell where your partner is, and maybe uh, if we can capture him, it might go easier for you. Me not talk. Well, suit yourself. You'll likely swing anyhow. Jury's coming in now. Hey, look at the faces. It's a hanging jury as sure as you're born. Yes, the Redskin's done for. Couldn't be no other way. Yeah, but it was here, all right. The Redskin even admitted he was at Higgins' place last night. Order in the court. Prisoner will rise and face the jury. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have. What is your verdict? We find the prisoner guilty as charged. Steve, sure has worked out slick. I'm glad they didn't lynch that redskin to death. <laughs> now he'll hang legal. Hey, not only that. Hey, what else, Norton? Why, everyone in town is at the hanging this morning. When could we find a better chance to ride out to Higgins' place and hunt that cash? Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. That's the trouble with you, Steve. You don't think of things. Here we are. Now to have a look around the shack. <laughs> you sure the sheriff ain't here? Him? What would he be here for? He's busy with the hanging of the redskin. Mm, he still wants to locate the partner of the engine. Never mind the sheriff. Let's get that cash. Maybe I, uh, I better wait outside and keep watch. Uh, no need of that. Come on, let's make this fast. All right, then. Hey, close that door behind you. Let me see. Where would he be likely to hide that cash, eh? Yeah, there might be a loose stone somewhere in that fireplace. Mm, sometimes money's hid beneath the floor. Yeah, step on the floorboards and see if there's one that's kind of loose. Mm. I'll have a look at the fireplace here. Mm, yeah, stones all seem solid. You will have to hunt through all those boxes and cupboards. Maybe in the mattress on the bed. Hey, hold too. on. You find something? Look here a minute. This floorboard seems to be loose. Good. There seem to be no nails in it, neither. It's just set in place. Hey, grab hold. Let's see if the suction comes up. It does. Yeah, toss to one side and look beneath. Uh, wait, I'll strike a match. Dark down here. You see anything there, Norton? Yeah, wait now. Give me a chance to look. Yeah, there is something here. Yeah, fetch it out. Fetch it out quick. Let's see if it's a cash. Yeah, it is. Hey, look. We found it. Ah, we got the cash. We got it. And there ain't a man alive can prove a thing against us. The masked man's being hunted and Higgins is dead. Got your hands up. What's that? Who's there? Here I am. Reach. I'll show you. Oh, my hand. I'll do as you're told. Who are you? What do you want here? You've talked about me long enough. I'm the friend of the Indian who is being hanged. This is 
That's one of the things I don't like about the job, Sheriff. No use putting it off, Sheriff. You got the rope all fixed? Yep, it's all fixed. All you got to do is slap the horse from under the redskin. Yeah, sure, hate to do that. It's your duty, Sheriff. The trial was fair and square. But there wasn't a dead man found. The jury didn't seem to care about that. Yeah, he got his hands tied good. They're tied good, Sheriff. Toto. Uh? You got anything to say? No, not right. You not get right man. Tonto not kill Kate. There's no use saying that, Tonto. You not know Higgins dead. Maybe him not dead. Now, look, Redskin. Why didn't you have more to say at your trial? You just didn't say a word then. Oh, me not think you hang me so soon. You wait two or three days. You find out Tonto not kill her. We can't wait. The law is law. Law say you hang Tonto when sunrise. I know. Sun not rise yet. It will in a couple of minutes. Now, if you'd only tell who your white friend is and where he'd be found. Uh, what you do then? Well, maybe we could get another trial if you had new evidence to offer. Uh, not need to do that. Hey. Now everything all right. Tonto not hang. Friend come. What's it? What are you talking about? You look yonder. Look, here comes someone. That's him. That's the masked man I seen. Boys, get your guns out. The rest stop masked man. He's the other one that's wanted for murder. Someone's riding along with him. Come on, Silver. Friend, come in time. Who's that behind the masked man? Riding on the same horse with him. Hold that hanging. Here's the man you want. Great day. It's old man Higgins with him. Higgins? He's the same dad. You can't charge Tonto with murder. Here's Higgins alive and well. You're, you're under arrest. Put down that gun, Sheriff. Yeah, but Higgins... You ain't arrest this man for nothing. What's he done? I, he, that is, well, we, look here, he can Thought I was dead, eh? Well, I ain't. But I would have been if it hadn't been for the Lone Ranger. Oh, Ranger. Higgins, this here. Let me in there. I'll cut that engine loose of those ropes. There. Now go on, Tonto, you're a free man. The law ain't no call to hold you no more. Sheriff, the men who robbed the stage and shot the garden driver are tied and waiting for you to arrest them. And the cash they was after is there with them. You go there and get them two pole cats, you'll have a real hanging of a real killer just as soon as you want it. Higgins, you sure of that? Of course I am. I took the cash from the stage. I was baiting a trap with it, hoping them crooks would come and get it. I was ready to shoot it out with them. Old fool that I am. Didn't stop to think I might get shot too. The Lone Ranger saved my life. Where well, Juniper? He had to make the real crooks think I'd been killed so she wouldn't be hunting me down. Now go on. Take your men to my place and do your duty. Go on, Tuttle. Be ready. I'll sue. Over. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.